taking action. The Faithville Manlia School District is asking for more resources after two of its students tragically died by taking their own lives last year. News Headlines Adrian Smith explains how one family's pain is helping push meaningful change. For the past three months, Luke Chi has been navigating life without his brother Liam. The 16-year-old Fayetteville Manlia student died by suicide last November. Very complex. I'm still going through my emotions too. As the grieving process continues, the Fayetteville Manlia School District is taking more steps to expand and improve mental health resources for students. Many of those suggestions coming from Liam Key's family in a written proposal sent to the district after his death, which includes better intervention measures. District Superintendent Craig Tice sent this letter to Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon asking if FM can receive additional mental health support from the county, including a drop-in clinic for students. Other efforts the district is adopting include the creation of a mental health task force, making resources and services more accessible through an online school platform, and an anonymous survey for high school students to help gauge trends and patterns among them. I'm really happy that there's been progress um, from what it seems like. Uh, it's, it's more than what's been done before, so it means a lot to me that, that Liam's uh, death is meaningful, like it's, it's leading to, to some change and I know that change is like super, super important, especially for the current students there. Now, in this letter sent to the county executive, Superintendent Tice writing in part, it is self-evident from Luke Chi's proposal and the numerous speakers, the majority of which were students during public comment, that having access to a trained, certified clinician at a moment's notice is paramount. Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Adrian, thank you. In addition to those newer resources, the district has a new strategy to address students' mental health. You can read more about FM's initiatives and the superintendent's letter to the county executive. You can find it at localsyr.com.